Oh well, hello again guys. I guess this is gonna be like my final build update video for this build for this week because I'm kind of done. I got 40-40 challenges because I just grinded out the rest of them. They weren't that bad because yeah, I was able to do ambitious assignments by cheesing it basically. But yeah, I also have all the gear on my build. Like, best in sort. I got a plus two heat shiver to just make my aura gem higher level. So that's nice. I got this for 70 divines. Expensive, but hey, you get another level on freezing plus an ice spear, so that's more damage. Uh. Yeah, I had to sneeze. Um. Yeah, so that's level 27 now. Uh, what else? I bought like 21, 20 gems for everything that I care about, like my curses. Alakana's brand is just level 123, because leveling it up does nothing except raise the mana cost, so no point. Level 4 and power would be like 2 million more DPS, but also it's way more expensive and I don't care when I have so much damage anyway. <laughs> I prefer the quality on my curses so that like... L weakness and frostbite increase freeze duration on enemies, which is really helpful in maps just because you, you freeze stuff for so long, so that's nice. It makes it a bit safer. I also got to 98 from doing Sanctum, that's how I got 70 divines. I got like about 50 or 60 from all those Sanctum runs. I had 3600 chaos, I had a bunch of scarabs, and <laughs> you can see I vendored all the useless ones. Then I sold all the expensive scarabs with Faustus. I even had to sell some of my ambush, uh, like, what's it called, of containment. I sold the, all the ones I had, like three of them I think for some divines, to barely get 70 divines and wait for the person to come online and sell me this chest piece, so... Yeah, best in sort chest. The gloves are good enough. <laughs> I don't really care about having more HP on them, same for the boots. I have enough HP. Uh, like, yeah, what else, what else? Hmm. Uh, no, this is still the same. This flask I found on the ground and crafted. Yeah, everything else is still the same. Still the same amulet. But yeah, I only got more life with that one level up and five more devotion, I guess, but I don't even think that does anything. Oh no, it does. I get to the threshold of 120 devotion with that node, so I get 4% increased tele damage and totem damage from this life node on top of the 6% life. If I do level up one more time, I'll inspect this big life node, 6%, and I'll put the two points here because that's more life overall and it's a bunch of mana. Because I want to get as close to 2000 mana as I can to fully benefit from this node. Which would be, yeah, 40% increased spell damage if you have 2000 max mana. But uh, it's not really that important. I don't have to level up again. I could even stay at 97, but yeah, my bandit is swapped to Kraten for movement speed. And another change I made to the build is... I realized by checking the two auras, Zealotry and Haste, in the POB that Zealotry is just worse than Haste now, because we lost Hatred. So like haste is just literally more DPS and it also makes you faster, so faster mapping, you're better at dodging attacks from bosses, so yeah, I just only use haste now, which is nice because I don't have to do gimmicky shit like swapping haste and zealotry for bosses and keeping an aura gem in my gear, so yeah, no, this, this just an empty socket in my gloves, but I don't really care, I can't think of what to put in here except maybe a lightning golem, but I'm, I don't want to keep summoning it. Just have cast on death portal and a Val haste in here at level 20 that I press while mapping or on bosses whenever I feel like and then my normal level 21 haste that I bought is in my helmet which is 24 from all the bonuses that I get to skill gems and yeah. Eternal blessing is still level 20 and more duration is 20 because I literally don't have the strength <laughs> to have them at 21. I mean I guess I could actually remove my fire rest tattoo one of them. Yeah, I could remove this tattoo, I'd still be rest capped. I'm pretty sure it's still be rest capped. And then I could actually get 21 gems. Yep. 
So, yeah, and I get a little bit more HP from that strength. So that's nice, maybe I will buy 2120 versions of these after I corrupt them if they don't go to 21. But yeah. I'm gonna change the leveling POB in the endgame POB to just only tell you to get haste now, because that's just the best aura for us, I guess. <laughs> Zeltri is just worse. Hatred is melee only now, so... Eh. More simple for me, that just means this build is even more straightforward to level and just get the gems for it. You only ever use one aura. But also, because I use haste, this is an option now. Sublime Vision with Haste. It gives you 10% increased action speed while affected by haste. I bought this one as a shitty 22% roll for like 5 6 divines, I think. Then I only had to use 2 divines on it and it rolled 39% increased effect, so. Like, yeah, if you want, you could, instead of using the Legion Jewel, lose a bit of damage. Yeah, 30k less on Freezing Pulse tooltip, and then also you can refund this, get some more HP, and then you'll be faster in maps, because that's a lot of action speed. <laughs> like, look at this, Wee. <laughs> it's very fast with this jewel, you'd also be really fast at Sanctum running or running a heist. So, yeah, you can use that if you want, but I just like having more damage from the Legion jewel, so I'll just keep using that. But yeah. Or you could also use a Sublime Vision for Zealotry and then you wouldn't need all the tattoos and you could put other tattoos on instead of Reduce Curse Effect. That's up to you, but yeah. Cheap jewel, it's only 5-6 divines. But it's probably less now, so yeah, you can divine orbit yourself and easily get a good roll. Uh, I think that's everything I want to talk about the build. Everything else is just the same. Yeah, a king cloak, I really don't want it to be 21, that's why I'm leaving it at 20, because at 21 it's gonna take more of my mana, and I don't really have that much mana anyway, like, it, I, it's already getting to the point where when our king cloak activates, I sometimes can't cast my totems because they cost too much mana, so I have to press my mana flask, because I don't have 2000 plus mana, so, yeah, I'm leaving that at 20, but anyway... I guess I'll also talk about the challenges I skipped and I will just finish them off, I guess. Port quotas, I made a character in SSF and got him to act 4, got a few thousand gold. The town was reset in SSF, so I just didn't upgrade the shipping because the quotas scale off your upgrade level for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not doing 30 quotas on this league when it's like this big of a requirement. <laughs> Hell no. So I just did it in SSF, and yeah, I finished them that way, I was about halfway done and then did the other half in SSF. And then I just deleted that character, so yeah. And then at the Surner stuff, which I also needed for the endgame grind, I just did T14 rare maps, 200 of them with my Atlas Runners. And yeah, I did have a full team of rank 10 guys. Now I have rank 10s and 1 rank 9 because they kept dying with a 1% chance of dying. I feel like that's more than 1% and the game is lying to me, but I don't know. But like, yeah, basically what I did for that was get a random map. Eh, you. So the way that like, chance of blah 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 completion and chance of dying works with these maps. The game doesn't even care what the mod that the map has is. It's just taking into account how much quantity and rarity and pack size it has, I think. So maps with zero quality are better than maps with quality if you wanna just do them fast. So as you can see, I just alt spammed and then regaled so it has only two mods and my guys will always fully complete it and it only takes almost 9 minutes, but it's still 1% chance to die, because that's always there. But... You can also just... do this. <laughs> Use an omen orbs, and now it's a zero mod, rare map, with nothing on it, with no quantity. And you can put it in, and they can still run it, and look, now it takes only 8 minutes to run. So if you really want to get this done fast, and you only have like 20 or so maps left to do, you could just do this to a bunch of your bad T14, T15 maps and give them to your runners. 
And even here, they can still die, and my guys died four times in one day to these zero mode maps. And the funny thing is, when they died, I checked the maps, and they were 100% complete when they died. I don't know how or why or what the fuck is happening, but it's just a bad system and the rewards suck, so I'm never touching this now that I'm done with the challenges. Like, shipping is way better, just get a bunch of farm materials, all this food here, and send it on shipments and you'll get currency in the vines. Why would I bother with this mapping shit when my guys can die randomly? I spent so much gold rerolling to get rank 10 mappers as well, I spent like, probably near a million gold. And yeah, I'm almost out now, no one is doing anything in the town, cause... I just... Left all my guys to smelt and mine all the ores I got from maps because I paused their work while mapping because I didn't want to waste gold because the mappers are very expensive per hour, almost 16k per hour. So I wanted to use all my gold only for mapping while doing this in endgame grind, so yeah. <coughs> and yeah, that's how I finished Ambitious Assignments and Endgame Grinds because. That was the only thing left in the yeah, T17 maps, I also finished them off, that was just easy, I just did a bunch of fortress maps that I bought for a few divides, about like 10 or 20 of them, because that's how many I needed. Uh, and yeah, Ardress Atlas, I literally just ran whatever, <laughs> I took a bunch of maps, because it's it also doesn't specify tier, so I literally went through from tier 1 all the way to 15, took out all my maps, valorbed all of them, didn't matter if they were air magic or whatever, because 8 mod is just a result of Valorp corruption. So any 8 mod map I got, I put it in a tab to have some left over, and then I just ran all those 8 mod maps, and when I ran out of random maps, I started running 8 mod mesas, and not just any random rare mesa, because you can get to the boss so fast. And that's how I finished this one off, it didn't take that long, it was like 2 days of grinding maps, and I got a bunch of gold from it, so that was nice. Uh, Oh yeah, the brother's gift dropped in Mesa finally while I was grinding this. So far it's my only brother's gift drop in Mesa since I scryed burial chambers onto it, so eh, it was worth it, I guess. <laughs> Got five divines. So yeah, let's finish that one and uh, yeah, in-game grinds I already explained, just Atlas Runners, it's very cringe, I don't know why they have a 1% chance of dying, it's stupid. <laughs> But yeah, and then I had this one left, which I don't know why, but I hadn't gotten a pirate boss yet, even though I was doing a lot of shipments. But then finally I got him the first time from the shipments, Admiral Valerius. I died to him, because I didn't know what he did. I didn't know where to stand to dodge the tornadoes or the waves, so I just died and I lost my whole team of rank 10 and 9 I... shipper guys. So, you know, that sucked. Still have a good team now, 4 rank 10s again. There is a rank 9, yeah, all my other guys are rank 9. But yeah, then the second time and every time after that I killed him without any problem, I just nuked him. So I got his two challenges done. Uh, and then I just saw someone selling Susan, the bandit that you get from Atlas Runners getting attacked by him. In TFT and Trade 820 chat, so I just paid like 3 divines, joined, got the two challenges and... Yeah, the whole thing is done. And that's it. 40 challenges. It wasn't this bad, it's just port quotas was kind of bad. Because I don't know why the quotas are so insanely high, you don't get that much ore per map. It would take you so long to complete these objectives. Like, I don't know, in my opinion, ore from a deposit should scale with the quantity on the map. Then you'd get more, but eh. That's it, I'll be sure to update the skill section and notes and everything in the POB so that now it only says to use haste and nothing else. Because I, I guess that is just worse according to POB's DPS numbers. Like, we don't even need crit anyway, Ice Spear is almost 100% crit, even without Diamond Flask, so... Yeah. That's it for this video. I will see you guys probably next league. So, yeah, see you later, or on whatever other video I make. I don't really know. Bye for now.